welcome to Carl's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your month ahead reading, November 2020. This month, guys, we're using some new decks that I recently purchased. I must have purchased about 10 decks lately. I've got about two more. Is it two? No, three more decks to come from Canada. Uh, Canada, Poland, and also, where is the other place? That it's Russia. Can't wait. Yeah, I'll be debuting those on the um, on the uh, channel when I get them. I'm actually doing a review video uh, channel, so uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that, and I'll leave a link when I set that up. But in the meantime, the decks that I'm using today for the reading, guys, are the Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black. Phenomenal deck. It's so beautiful. Um, I think it's based on... I mean, it's obviously Rider, uh, Rider Waite, um, Rider Wright Smith uh, based... But also the characters are very kind of Tudorish, you know, like Henry VIII uh, times kind of Anne Boleyn and Catherine of Aragon and that type of thing. Um, uh, Queen Mary, you know, Bloody Mary, that type of thing. So, yeah, we've got some really beautiful cards in this, very new ones. You can get a lot of downloads from these cards. Absolutely fantastic. So we're using that for the main body of the reading. We're doing a Celtic Cross today. We're also going to be using uh, for us, for our uh, clarifying deck, the Classic Tarot by uh, Barbara Moore and artwork by Eugene Smith, lovely deck. And finally, for your spiritual advice, guys, we are using the Angel Wisdom Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Okay, those are the cards that we're using for the reading, so make sure that you sit back, relax, get a snack, and enjoy your reading. Also, make sure, guys, that after you've finished, please like, share, and subscribe the video and also comment after the video because it helps the algorithms and also finally i always forget to do this if you'd like to order a personal reading make sure that you're clicking on the link in the comment section below takes you straight through to my website all right love you guys loads and i will see you soon take care hi libra welcome to carl's universe tarot readings from the heart thanks ever so much for joining me on your november 2020 reading Okay, Libra, let's have a look at the cards then. So, what is the situation surrounding you in uh, November? The Empress, wow. I mean, some of you, I don't really want to do any pregnancy readings because, you know, on a general reading, because, you know, loads of people watch these videos, not everybody's pregnant. But some of you guys are giving birth perhaps to something, or this could be a person uh, that is surrounding you an Empress, a motherly figure, a nurturing figure, a kind figure. Sometimes this is pregnancy, obviously. Um, and sometimes it's giving birth to something new. No, it's a metaphor for giving birth to something, creating something. It can be a love card. It's ruled by Venus. So it's, um, you know, it's nurturing a relationship, uh, attraction between two people as well. But it's a number three card, so it deals with the idea about growth and expansion and nurturing and building and that type of thing. What's influencing that empress? Right, so I think Libra, maybe this is you here. So the reason that you're experiencing this is because I think you guys have been worried about something here with the Nine of Swords. I think that's what the influence is. We've got a Nine of Swords worry. Who better to nurture somebody's ills than an Empress? So I think you're experiencing a lot of nurturing from someone here because there has been some worry with that Nine of Swords energy. What's the root cause of everything happening then? What's the root cause of her, he or she? Probably because of a judgment energy showing there. So the reason that she is appearing is because of a judgment showing here. All right, so perhaps some of you guys are worried about something to do with court. Usually judgment or justice refers to the legal system. So perhaps there's been something legal happening here. Um, I mean, certainly judgment can represent, you know... Um, uh, release or resurrection things come back around again but I just feel there's worrying about some form of a judgment here and you're getting a lot of nurturing and support and love concerning this uh, what's the external factors for this person being around you as well well I think there's something to do with money here ace of pentacles showing here I think it's something to do with money it's not pregnancy I wouldn't say it wouldn't make any sense I don't think for that to read it this way uh, the external factors is, is something to do with money here. This is why this person, which is why this person is around you in November, because there's been a judgment that some of you guys are not happy with. So perhaps 
you know, there's been a decision made. Maybe something to do with uh, your income, finances, or maybe money that you owe or money somebody owes you, that type of thing. I'll probably clarify because he, all he says is that the external factors, the reason, the, there are three points that I look at for why, what, why something is happening, and that would be the external factors, the root cause, and the influence position. That's how I do my Celtics. So if this person is surrounding you here, Libra, it's because uh, there's been uh, some worries here and the worries are revolving. The root cause of the worry is of this, of the why, why this person is here uh, because of that is because there's been a judgment here. And that judgment is concerning the external factors is something to do with money, the home, probably. Eight of coins is money, it's your home, it's your property, it's your possessions, that type of thing. What have you been experiencing in the last few weeks concerning this? Um, the fool. I, I feel that there have been some mistakes made here, Libra, because the fool also means a mistake. So you might have been experiencing some mistakes or somebody's not been keeping their eye on something here with this fool energy showing here. So I think that the fool is a mistake. I think you've been experiencing some mistakes it looks like it's concerning job or money or property issues here. It looks like you're worried about a judgment that was made. I mean, the judgment card isn't reversed, so it's not like a judgment has been made in error. But it looks like it might be an error because you've been experiencing the fall. If that's not the case, then some of you guys haven't been paying attention in the last few weeks. I think you're the fall. I think you've been kind of like just... Uh, this is like abandonment, you know? The fall is kind of like, hmm, nothing's happening, everything's good, you know? He's young, you know, he's got no pressure, he's got nothing, he's got, you know, the bag on his back is always loose, you know, he's got no issues going on, he's just living life day by day and enjoying it because he's got no responsibilities. So some of you guys may have been a little bit irresponsible perhaps in the last few weeks concerning this and now there's a lot of worrying about this situation and you're having to have somebody around you who's going to soothe you and help you. This might be you, but I think this is you. You've been experiencing the fall. Either there's mistakes made, I think, with this card, or there's, uh, or you've not been paying attention to something here. I think Libra. Uh, most likely, outcome concerning this situation going forward will be uh, the Ace of Swords. So, information, clarity, truth. I think that the most likely outcome is you're going to get, you're going to find out where you stand. Ace of Swords is going to be, you're going to get some clarity. You'll get the truth concerning the situation showing up here coming in towards the end of november what are you experiencing libra pardon my hands they look really really dry at the sides i do apologize i always dry them but whenever i wash up and stuff they get back um they get back crusty so i really apologize about that the two of swords uh you're faced with a decision here i think libra and that is definitely you because this is first deacon in libra so this is you being faced with a decision uh, but our decision to do what? Let's clarify that. What is it that? Uh, what is the decision that they're faced with? What is the decision that Libra will be faced with? That's definitely you on the card there, because that's your so your sign is represented in this deacon here. First deacon in uh, two of swords is the first deacon in Libra, so that's you. Uh, you're facing a decision. What is Libra facing a decision about? What is Libra facing a decision about in two cards? I mean, also, the most likely outcome could be that you get your justice, because the Ace of Swords is power and truth uh, and strength. You know, overcoming conflicts is the, uh, the Ace of Swords, so you might just get your justice with that card, hopefully. But you are facing a decision, and we want to know what the decision is. What is this decision that they're facing in two cards? Um, right, so death in the reverse. Um, it's almost like you're facing a decision whether you open something up again that has been buried. Because death is buried. When it comes back around again, it's a resurrection of something. So it's almost like you're faced with a decision whether you open up the doors on something again. The wheel of fortune. It's almost like with the wheel of fortune, you're turning back time. Because every time I see the wheel of fortune, it reminds me of clockwork. It reminds me of the Game of Thrones intro. The, the clockwork thing going around. It feels like when it's reversed, it's reversing something here with the wheel. Um... Or you could be bringing those bodies up again with the death in the reverse, you know, bringing those skeletons out of the closet. Um, for some of you guys, it might mean that you lose a lot of money or something like that with the wheel in the reverse showing there. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for that one. Um, what are your... What is the advice from the universe? 
page of cups is the advice. You know, the page of cups is about as a messenger card. And it's almost like you've got to communicate something here. You've got to send a message or a nice message, or you've got to communicate nicely with somebody about this, I think, with the Page of Cups. Just looking at the reading, it looks like you're worried about maybe something legal or a judgment that's been made concerning some money. The external fact. What is this situation with the Ace of Coins, actually, Universe? What is this situation with the Ace of Coins? What's the situation with the Ace of Coins in the external factors in two cards? Um... Right, so the Knight of Swords, there's an argument, I think, because you've got the Knight of Swords here. So there might have been an argument, or the Knight of Swords is argument, it's announcement. Um, oh, no, this looks like a bad argument. There, it looks like there was a, a really bad argument concerning money here. Because the Tower is anger, it's war. And the Knight of Swords energy is, a, you know, it's, it's an angry card, it's an argument. There's an argument and there's some chaos I think uh, revolving there was some uh, there was an argument. Um, it could also be about loss. Perhaps with the tower energy, something suddenly became unstable, or there was some loss, or there was a crash, or maybe there was there was an argument about losing suddenly losing some money with the with the tower energy showing here. I'm getting the king of wands reverse. A lot of anger around this. That could have been somebody you were dealing with, or that's you. It almost feels like there was an argument. You suddenly lost some money or something. A lot of anger with that King of Wands in the reverse showing there. Um, somebody revealing something hidden, perhaps. The uh, High Priestess is reversed. Secrecy reversed. And then the Moon is the secret as well. One upright, one reversed. It's almost like this person suddenly... A lot of anger here. Something that you didn't know about being revealed. So it's almost like somebody... It feels like, Libby, you lost money. Feels like there was a you lost money, and it it feels like it may have been an investment, but it looked like it was a bad investment. Um, and the root cause is because there was a judgment here. So this person's showing up because you've been worried about a judgment. Um, the external factors for it, it was about money, money in which uh, the Knight of Swords and the Tower energy showing here. Um, I mean, this this also looks to me like somebody suddenly escaped something really bad. A lot of anger here. Something was revealed here. It feels like you were ripped off. It was a bad investment. And there was a lot of anger showing up here. There was a hell of a lot of anger at losing this cash. Not reverse, but it was money. And we've got... Well, I am asking, well, what do you mean by money? So the Knight of Swords in a financial reading can mean... Um, uh, acting without thinking as well. So it's almost like concerning the money, perhaps some of you guys charge towards an opportunity to make more money because the Knight of Swords can be improvements. So some of you guys were focusing on perhaps with that Knight of Swords improving your finances here and then suddenly everything fell apart with the tower. Lots of anger as secrets were revealed about what actually happened to your cash. And some of you guys have probably been really upset about a judgment made on this. Who was the judge? What is this judgment about? What was this judgment about in two cards? What is this judgment about in two cards? Well, somebody's being... I think the judgment is that probably it's caught. They're satisfied with the Nine of Cups energy showing here. Uh, page of Coins in the reverse, though. Uh, the satisfaction here. Page of Coins reversed. Um, page of Coins reversed. Page of Coins is money, but it's not settlement. I'm trying to think of that Page of Coins reversed. See, uh, when you get the Page of Coins up right in a financial reading, it's about payment, a payment here. Um, there's something about you not paying something in with that Page Reverse. It's almost like the court is satisfied that you didn't lose money or, you know, uh, you didn't pay that much in or something like that. Uh, it feels like a crook has got away with something here. And I see a lot of nurturing around this. Um, maybe in the last few weeks concerning this, what you've experienced is the fool. Some of you guys feeling that you've made mistakes, you've been silly. So you've probably been feeling silly. The fool is also making mistakes, doing things wrong. However, the most likely outcome will be the Ace of Swords. You'll get your justice, you should do. You're going to face a decision here, and that is to unearth certain things. Um... 
the wheel of fortune reversed. I think it's digging up the, uh, the there's certain things you haven't said or certain things you haven't opened up about because the death in the reverse is resurrecting something. Okay, so it's like a judgment card in a way. So you're going to be faced with the decision. You're going to have to resurrect something here. Um, I don't know whether this is going to take somebody's fortune down or your own fortune down with the wheel of or this is turning something back the clock back perhaps with the wheel maybe you're turning the clock back here uh, I think the advice is to do things in the nicest of ways with the page of cups I don't think that's so much about messages but how you apply a message I think it's saying don't get aggressive you'll get more results I think here Libra if you do a softly softly approach rather than going aggressively because uh, I think that you'll want to go in aggressively because it feels like at the first hurdle, it almost feels like you feel that you've lost because there's money owing to you and somebody's got away with the money. Um, and it's almost like the courts have been satisfied that you didn't lose that much. Or you didn't pay that much in. There wasn't much to lose. So it might be that, you know, you've been awarded something, but it's really, really small. And you're like, how, how am I being awarded this? I put a lot of money in. They took my money. I've lost all my savings, I've lost everything, and you only want to pay me this back. They're lying. They're obviously lying. I think some of you guys are saying, this is a lie. This is not right. They've taken my money, and I need it back. You, it's either that the, the courts are saying, you haven't paid that much in, or you're, the courts have said, we're satisfied that maybe we just give you, you know, a fraction of what you paid, or something like that. Uh, and you're faced with a decision, are you going to dig up, resurrect something here? Um... Wheel of Fortune reverse, perhaps about the money that you've lost. You have to, there's, there's, a, you're going to have to, you're faced with a decision about whether you're going to unearth something here. Perhaps it's about the person's fortune, your fortune, the money you lost. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, but do it in the nicest of ways. Page of Cups. What are your hopes or fears? Uh, the Hermit. So I think that your hope would be, um, I mean, the Hermit is detailed and it's to find things out. I think the hope is that a thorough examination is made off this situation because the Hermit is a forensic, uh, a forensic investigator. He looks in his Virgo, looks into things really detailed, real deeply. So your hope would be, I hope that there is a thorough examination made of this because I don't think a thorough examination has been made of this or else why am I being awarded this small amount of money when I've lost so much more? Um... The outcome, so leading from the decision to uh, resurrect some information here, um, perhaps this is going to take all of your money with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Maybe it's going to completely wipe you out or something like that. Uh, or there's a need to turn back the clock or really go deep into something here. Uh, where is it leading to going into December? Well, more worry, I'm afraid, Five of Wands, because that's what the Five of Wands is. More conflict, more headbutting. The situation isn't ending. And to be honest with you, I don't know how to advise you in a way, Libra, on what to do in this situation. Because I think that when I look at the cards, you're in your right. You're in the right to do what you're doing because you haven't been treated fairly. And I think that somebody has got away. I mean, I think that you've acknowledged your mistake in the last few weeks over what you did. I think you invested in something or it's either that you invested in a, in a, in a, in a project or something like, um, you know, a company where you were promised to, you know, get loads of money and the company may have gone bust and you never got anything, you know, um, maybe, you know, with the Knight of Swords energy, there's a lot of anger here because the company went bust, you know, because it's about your money and it's gone bust with the tower, you know. You've suddenly you've lost it. Suddenly there's all this cut. You lost all your money. It's gone bust. Uh, you've, I think this may be you. Very, very angry. King of Wands in the reverse. I don't see the King of Wands reverse as a bounder. Well, if I saw the King of Coins in the reverse, I'd have thought uh, embezzlement. But this is real anger. This is somebody who's really angry. And I'm just seeing a lot of anger here. King of Wands in the reverse. Secrets uh, are being revealed with this moon. Things are coming out. Those are, this is the secret card, and with the High Priestess reversed, I think there's a revelation here, things that were hidden that you didn't know about. So it may be that you invested money, you weren't told about the pitfalls, suddenly the company's gone bust, or you've just lost all your money, and you're like, oh my God, what? oh my goodness. You're really upset, you're like, what the hell am I going to do? 
you know, I've tried to come back. And also, this may not even be the court. It might be the company coming back with the judgment card. Communication is judgment. And they're coming back and they're saying, our decision is that we are happy. Um, you know, we, we're quite contented with what we found. Maybe the page of coins in the reverse, they've not actually even done their homework. They've not even examined it. So it might be they say, this may not be the money card. It might be saying, well, you know, you're getting information. The root cause for why you're getting help and nurturing and support here is because uh, with the judgment energy, you've had this information come back saying, you know, well, we're happy with our findings here. When in fact, they've done no findings at all. Page of coins in the reverse is a lazy sod can't be bothered to examine or look into anything at all you know so they might say yeah we're happy with the, our findings and there's nothing there's no further investigation needed because page of coins is reversed he's not looking to examine he's examining that but in the reverse he's a student remember in the reverse he doesn't do any work at all so it's like we're happy with our findings and we won't be taking this any further we will no longer be examining this situation or we're only going to give you a fraction of this because you know uh, the money that you paid in you did it uh, fully aware of the loopholes and blah blah it was all in the contract um, and all of those things and you're kind of like what the hell so there's a lot of things to get through but there you are you're facing a decision uh, you, it's about resurrecting things, maybe the Wheel of Fortune turning back time or resurrecting a hell of a lot of dead bodies and, you know, uh, things unearthing a lot of stuff there. Maybe the Wheel of Fortune is going to wipe you out, it's going to take a lot more money, but I feel this is going to lead to a lot of worries going forward for some of you guys, I'm afraid, here with the Five of Wands or a further battle to be fought with the Five of Wands energy showing here. Okay, sorry about the reading. I don't want to leave it on a negative note, and I hope I haven't, but I do feel that this is something that will not be resolved overnight. This is something, when I look at it, could be anything, but there's something about you not getting what you want or not getting what's owed to you. That much I do know in the reading. And you, to be honest with you, I think this is something that will not be resolved in November or December. It may not be resolved all the way into 2021, just by the looks of the cards. So be prepared to, I would say, fight your corner on this, okay? And if you're going to, because the most likely outcome is you will get your justice with the Ace of Swords energy showing there. But, it's, you know, the real outcome from here is that you're going to have to battle on if you want to get that justice. So if you want to get your justice, you're really going to have to battle on with this. You know, it's time to pull those sleeves up, you know, and get ready. Get ready to fight for what you want. Because if you fight for it, I think you will get it in the end. Okay, let's have a quick look at what the, uh, what the spiritual advice card is for the month of um, November 2020. What is the spiritual advice universe for November 2020 for Libra? What is the spiritual advice for Libra for November 2020? Um, right, so uh, five of coins. Right, and I did speak about financial loss as well, didn't I, through the cards at first. So negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fears surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance, which is your Empress card here, okay, poor timing for becoming self-employed, okay, uh, this isn't self-employment though, this is to do with, and you remember, you've got an angel behind you as well, he's got his head, so remember, you've, for me, the Five of Coins is also the card that talks about that when you're in your darkest hour, whether it's illness, whether it's poverty, whether it's losing money, whether it's facing some form of hardship or bankruptcy or loss of home or whatever the case may be, just know that you have that support there. You've, whether you believe in God or not, I certainly do. You've always got that angelic, heavenly support, spiritual, whatever you want to call it. You've always got spiritual support, okay? So lean into your angels. Don't worry about things. Pray because whatever it is in the darkness or done in the darkness will always come to the light. Things are coming to the light here, you know? But people are kind of like, I would say this is probably the company saying, you know, oh, we're satisfied, no further, no need to further examine or look into this at all, you know? Because they don't want to have to pay out or whoever this is doesn't want to have to pay out to you. But there's no need, there's no use feeding into negative thoughts. You know, if you carry on the good fight and stand up for what you believe in with the Five of Wands as... Uh, going into December, the most likely outcome will be that you'll get that ice of swords. You will get your justice. You will definitely get your justice. But you've just got to keep thinking positively. And whatever mistakes have been done in the past have been made. And that's all there is to it. You can't turn back time. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, you've got to focus on what is in the here and now. And you've got to focus it on it with fortitude, with confidence, with strength, with courage. 
and you know with self-belief and you will get through okay that is your reading uh, libra for the month of november 2020 i'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe if you would like a personal reading with me click on the link in the comment section below it takes you straight through to the website please make sure also if you can sweetie pies uh, like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and also leave a comment in the comment section after you have finished the video okay love you guys loads love you take care bye bye